All right, guys. So, what's up? Today is December 11th. I thought I'll start something like a 12-day giveaway. I actually, I want to start this recording, so we'll, we'll cover the ground rules in terms of please mute yourself, all of that stuff. Today's going to be the first day we we'll go over the overview, but I, uh, my eight-year-old daughter took her some chocolates and biscuits she had from her birthday two weeks ago and gave it to her friends in school. And she said she feels so good giving it away. And I was like, man, that's so true. You give you give stuff and you feel good, right? So I thought, okay, what can I do? <clears throat> Christmas is here. Welcome guys, welcome. All right, so let's do this. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. This is what we're gonna happen today, guys. Yes, okay, so we're gonna go over some stuff today. Um, but here's the agenda. Next 12 days, December 11th to December 22nd, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Okay. 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, every single day, we're going to go ahead and do a 12 days of Christmas challenge. I call it a challenge because I want to see every day. I want to give you guys some homework because all the learning out there we can keep learning and watching and if you don't do anything what happens anybody what happens if you just keep consuming and you don't let it out you don't produce stuff you get constipation knowledge constipation okay so we don't want knowledge constipation right so today we're going to go over overview of the seo what is seo we're going to start a little bit of basics based depending on you know how much of background you guys have we, we'll find out we may not even go into a lot of basics, but this is the agenda. Tomorrow, we're going to find some low-hanging fruits for client SEO, at least the process that I use. We're going to be doing some keyword research on um, day three, December 13. Um, December 14 is going to be really exciting. Um, GMB, I'm not going to show you verification methods, but I will be showing you some stuff that you can do to verify if you want to. And math ranking factors, this is crazy. Um, be ready to see some surprise speakers. I have a couple of speakers in different days who are experts in, in their own right, you know, coming and sharing. Um, we're gonna go into web design, conversation analysis, on page, off page. I use PBNs. I wanna go in depth on PBN because I think if you understand that, the right way to use PBN is gonna be crazy. Client acquisition, December 19th. What day is December 19th? Let's see. That's going to be Tuesday. Next Tuesday, make sure you guys come live because we're going to get some clients live if possible. Uh, when I say get clients live, most of the time, no one's going to, on the first call, say, yeah, take my money, right? But we're going to get you, somebody here, get you some clients on the way to getting some clients, nurturing and all that stuff. Then some QA. Um, December 21st is going and scaling in a CEO agency. December 22nd, the last day is planning for 2024. At least what I'm doing, for pl my planning, I think it's going to be useful. Uh, stuff like that, okay? And uh, once in a lifetime opportunity that's going to be happening next year. I want to show you all of that stuff, okay? Now, here's the thing I wanted you guys to understand. We'll go over this in a minute. But number one, this may change, when I say may change, if today we don't need to spend the whole day talking on the overview of SEO because all of you know what SEO is, we may just jump into day two, okay? That's why I have like 120 people registered. Uh, for those of you who don't know, make sure you come to your Facebook page. <laughs> so far, so good though. I'm gonna mute you guys. Make sure you come here in the featured, featured over here, my biggest content giveaway um come on computer open up you want to go to this link here and put your name email your last name and email this will give you a membership area with all the replays of what we're going to be covering right so i'm going to put this link this link make sure <coughs> excuse me guys i'm going to put it in the comment of this live so you can see it. Uh, but go here, I'll put it in the Zoom chat also if you anybody want to see it. Make sure you put it here because I'm going to be including some stuff here. 
Um, that's not even covered. So we'll have replays of all this once you register here, but we will also be having a lot more stuff, okay? A lot more stuff um, over here. So I'll be talking about that also. Um, so with that said, let's go over this, right? Um, in the Facebook Live, today's Facebook Live, let me go back here, Facebook Live here. Um, we have, let's do this, right? Over here, this link over here, the yesterday's 1005 with the link, why don't you put over here, okay? And I'll put this chat, I just put that link in the chat. Go here and put in your comment. Give me like your background if you know. Maybe um, where you're from, your city. So give me your city and then your experience, right? So newbie, um, I have an agency, something, some kind of a background so I know. So you could say Brandon, Atlanta, new to SEO, something like that. If you put it over here, I put the, I put it, I put this in the Zoom chat. Please click on that so I get an idea of what kind of how, you know, the kind of people you guys, your background, so I don't have to spend my time teaching you stuff you already know, okay? So if you guys go here and put that in, please, I would really, truly appreciate that, okay? Uh, let's see if you guys can do that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the link is over here. I'm going to be giving it um, over here. So I put it in the, in the Zoom chat. I can also put it in any other chat if you want to. Um, let's see. Okay, you can also put it, if you want to go to the live and just put it in the live, I don't care. Okay, so, okay, so we got people here. Okay, Debashish, thank you. Debashish, here's what I want to do. Debashish is the first one who commented, so he's getting a free gift. That's the other thing. I want to surprise you guys. Free gift may not be a free car or a house. It could be information courses. It could be a free website. It could be, we have one... We have a couple of gift cards. We have a, a couple of, not couple really, one paid vacation if possible. So Deposhi says he's a newbie, just starting out. I don't have a technical background, but quick to learn. I love it. I live in India in the winter, Canada in the rest of the year. Deposhi is living the life of a king, guys. He lives in six months in a different country, six months in a different country. Deposhi, I love it. <laughs> in fact, I want to grow up to be like Debashish, man. What are you doing here learning from me? I should be learning from you. How are you living in India six months or Canada six months? Good stuff, okay? So let's see who else is here. So Debashish gets the free stuff. He's a newbie, right? So here's what I'm going to do. Debashish, you get the first free give away. You tell me yes or no, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, 30 minute Zoom with me. I think that will help you to kind of game plan how you can make some money. Be your newbie, your growth plan to start from where you are the next. If that's gonna help, give me, uh, just click on this reply and say yes. Otherwise say, I don't need your 30 minutes. Give me something tangible. I'll be happy to do that, okay? Manish, basic to intermediate. Okay, good stuff. Creating in Weebly. Okay, you're the second person today who says Weebly because Weebly is a lot easier. I love it. Masoom says Bangladesh doing a CEO for four years. Okay, good stuff. So you guys have, I, I see a, a mix of some kind of a few people new, few people good. We got more comments. Let's see. Alden Intermediate, live in Turkey. Yes, Alden, welcome. Yes, I like, I know I met you. Yep. Steve Indianapolis, Steve, man, you got you got the background to take it to the next level, man. I'm gonna help you, brother. Um, let's see what we can do for you, sure, sure. Steve says Indiana web design. Okay, he can easily maybe on the client side, in the client section. The day we go over client module, Steve, which is December 19, um, make sure you turn up. Let's see if we can get you get you some clients just because from your web design, okay? Pakistan, you know their CEO ranking man. Okay, good stuff. Love it. Rizwan, nine to five. Okay, good. So quite a few newbies. So maybe I'll spend half the time today, 20 minutes or so, going over rank and rent, right? I love it. Thank you for your participation. I love that. Okay, let's do that, okay? For those of you, make sure you go and you sign up for this um, because you will get a membership area with all these replays and some newbies. So Debashish, send me a message later on. Um, send me a friend request and a message, Debashish. You get a free one-on-one -on -one if you think that's going to be worth it because you were the first to comment, okay? 
So let's get started today, guys. And any any questions anybody have, um, feel free to put it in the chat or in the comments of the Facebook Live or wherever, so I can ask a question. Right? Let's get this going. This one here. Let's do this. Um, there should be a way to start a chat here. I have no idea how. If anybody knows how to start a chat group from here, um, usually it says there's a chat group we can start. Okay, start a chat group. Why am I showing you all this, right? Start a chat group and we can even chat later on. I, I'll be I'll be happy to do something. So, okay, let's jump in it, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, everybody... Uh, okay, I get. I'm getting questions. Why are okay? Fine, cool. All right, so let's start with the basics, guys. Sorry for the. Okay, good. You guys can see this, right? Marco says I have no audio. I have to read the chat. Why cannot? Why can Marco not hear me? I have no idea. Okay, maybe just start and stop again. But let's go here, guys. All right, we live in an age. I'm not going to go through all this in depth, but one thing I realized is we live in an age where everything is automated, right? When I was working in a day job, and I'll go through it in two minutes later on, I was working with General Motors, a car company. They gave me a, I, I eventually, after five or six years working in GM, I came to a position where, you know, they have level four, level five, level six, level seven in these companies. At each level, they give you, they give you something to make you feel good. They don't really raise your salary. But at one level, when I first joined, I was just a business analyst. Then I became a, a senior business analyst and they gave me a company phone. I was like, wow, company phone, right? Then they gave me a company laptop, right? I came to a level where they gave me a company car. And I was like, wow, I got a company car. I got a company phone, company um, laptop. I was set for life, right? But the problem was I was not set for life because I was miserable going to a job every day because deep inside, I don't want to just go trade time for money. So what I realized was this, somebody asked me this question, Bob Proctor. Some of you may know Bob Proctor, some of you may not know Bob Proctor, right? Is your income automated? And that's how I got into rank and rent and search engine optimization. I don't want to go into details. I got the YouTube channel. You can go listen to my story and all that. But I want to show you this, this screenshot here. Can you see this? July of 2017, right? Write it down. Um, just mute yourselves, guys, if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay, it's six six years ago, six years ago, six and a half years ago. These are clients. Some of these are client side uh, sites. Some of these are lead gen or rank and rent websites. Some of these guys rank and rent. They're still clients with me. They're still paying me. Okay, so I will be. In fact, I'm going to show you the, my first the niche and the city that I started my first rank and rent. I'm going to go through that. But today, for those of you who are just signing in, is very, very basic. For those of you who are just signing in, we're just going over overview of SEO, rank and rank. This is the this is what it is, right? Every day we're going to be covering something. Those of you who are advanced, I would say show up for GMB December 14th, 11 a.m. I got a surprise speaker who's going to be coming. I I may cover some stuff on GMBs, but I have a surprise speaker who is a freaking expert in GDPs and GMBs and maps. I learned a bit from him and I, I I asked him and he agreed to come and share some of his knowledge on December 14th. Um, and so every day it will be me and then a few of, few people who are in my course who are, this, this person here is, is not in my course. Uh, he's an expert in his own right. Um, he's coming in, you know, so if you're expert, if you are an expert level GMB stuff, you want that, come on December 14th. Today's gonna be a little bit of basics but we're gonna start going over, okay? Um, also, for those of you, who just joined, I made sure I was covering, make sure you go to this post here, which I posted yesterday at 10.05, then my biggest content, my biggest giveaway. Make sure you click on this and make sure you sign up. In this membership area, uh, you get a free membership area once you sign up and everything we cover in all these days will be recordings, will be put in there, plus some stuff that I'm gonna be giving away. Uh, and those who show up live, you get free, giveaways like the batches today got a free giveaway um it's a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one with me 
Now, it's not always going to be 30 minutes one-on-one -on -one with me. Some of you are going to get gift cards and one lucky person is going to get my full course plus a paid vacation, right? Um, that's the plan. So let's see, all right? But if you are new, if you're just signing up, see if you can go to this post here and in the comment section, put where you're from so I'm, I can I know, you know, if you guys need the basics, if you don't need the basics, whatever. Okay, so but this is what we're going to go over. So today we're going to go over this. I'm going to go over a couple of things, the basics of SEO, client SEO, rank and run SEO, so you understand, and where I think SEO Google is going and how we can how we can be aligned with where the future is, all right? So that's what we're going to be going over, all right? Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, I don't want to go with this. These are just some testimony slides. This is somebody who maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago, he was so new, he did not even join my course. And then he got into my paid group and he's, you know, in three months, he started making this, you know. I don't want to go into all this. This dude here walked away from his job in four months learning SEO. Um, just student results, there's so many over there. You know, people saying course is 100% gold. I'm not selling my course. This is a 12-day 12, 12 free giveaway, so don't worry about it, right? Some of you may know this lady, Victoria. She's now a, an up-and-coming, she's a speaker in different SEO conferences. Um, 2021, I don't know if you can see the screenshot. She messaged me saying, remember I asked you if I can make 6K a month? That was exactly a year ago. Can I make 60K a month? Okay. So beginning of COVID, she came to me. Uh, this was beginning of COVID. And she basically said, what a brilliant course. I'm happy I made this decision to purchase. I can tell you're an engineer, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, like she just started learning SEO. She's now, she's running a SEO company in New York, just focused on personal injury lawyers. Personal injury lawyers can make a lot. So the, the reason I'm showing you this is not to show hey, I am awesome, right? The reason I'm showing this is to say, if you learn this skill, look at this guy. I've grown my income from 21K a month to 30K a month in the past four days. How about that? It is crazy. Like if you do the math, you can do so much, okay? If you learn this skill, I call this skill, skill of ranking and banking, okay? Somebody like Steve here, Indianapolis, right? He has a web design agency already. Like he's sitting on a gold mine. If he just learns a few skills, and I'm going to walk you through exactly how he can easily, not just him, I'm just taking him as an example. Anybody, if you can make money, okay? So I don't want to keep going through all of these tons and tons of testimonies, but some of you may know what this is. Map grid, we'll be talking about it. How to get clients, all of that, okay? I don't want to go into this. In fact, there's too many of these screenshots. Let's keep up all over that. Um, <laughs> look at that. 28 of my 31 keywords have moved to page one. Like when you get messages like this, look at this guy, okay? I love the coaching call. I love the call you made. I'll be using a similar script for my cold call outreach. I will be going over this on whatever day we have the client acquisition day, okay? I think next Thursday, December 19th or Tuesday, I don't know. Um, when is that? When is client acquisition, okay? If you want to learn clients acquisition, December 19th, show up. And again, we may very well say, you know what? Tomorrow's session we already covered today and we may just jump ahead. So best to jump in everyday life, okay? Any questions, anything on this so far, guys? Any questions, comments, anything? Anybody? Nobody? Okay, let's keep going, all right? Um, okay. Here is the, I, this is the last slide I'm going to show you and bore you before I jump into the meat and potatoes. Uh, last night, six members, this was like a month, month and a half ago, got new clients. This is one of our private coaching calls we have every week. Like, look at this guy, Rob, close to $900 a month plus a percentage share client. This is all in the last one week, okay, in, the, in one week of this coaching call, right? Tom Klein, Chris Klein, Yala, Lynn, everybody. And, and a lot of these people are like newbies. Like, Lynn Lee is a working, she works in a dentist's office, full-time mom, full-time work, full-time wife, plus she's doing this and she's closing clients, right? So anybody, okay, I think somebody said, Rizwan said, I'm trying to leave my nine to five job. We're gonna make sure you understand what it takes to do that because it's not gonna happen in an instant, but you wanna make sure you're on the, you're on the right track, okay? Uh, let's keep going, guys. Okay, now I had posted this um, in 2017. 
six years ago, okay, when I was still in my day job, I was in General Motors. The number one reason you need to quit your day job, this is my reason. The toilet stalls in the restroom in my office have no freaking privacy. Like literally, I don't know how many of you go to an office, but if you go to an office building, you know the toilet stalls, it's like what the next guy is doing, you can literally see, hear, smell everything the freaking guy is, do is doing. And you're trying to just have some peace and privacy doing your own thing, right? That became, well, the reason I put this up is find out the reason, the why, the WHY, that you want to leave your day job. Because if not, if you don't have that, you're just going to come here today, learn, and then somebody else is going to show you how to make money through Facebook ads, and you're going to go learn that. Somebody else is going to do show you how to make money through Bitcoin. I'm not saying don't learn anything else, but what I'm saying is you want to have your why so clear so you can easily figure out the how. Josh says, your toilet now is right down the hallway. Exactly. The toilet right now is right down the hallway. The only thing that's not so good about it is my eight-year-old doesn't do that much, but when she was five and six, she would practically announce, I'm going to poop. And then, you know, in some of my recordings, you can hear that in the back. I'm going, I'm teaching SEO and schema and GMBs and somebody shouts in the background, I'm going to poop. <laughs> you can, so that's what it is, right? Okay, so let's go. Okay, I don't want to go into this in detail, but 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago, there was a recession. People lost jobs. Companies went bankrupt. If you ask the common man, they'll say, yeah, I lost my job because the company went bankrupt because of the recession. But if you really truly understand, it was because new technologies replaced old, right? This was the time iPhone apps was launching. Facebook, Instagram were unknown companies, right? At least Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, right? All of these companies came later. So people were forced to learn new technologies, 2010, 20. Why am I saying that? Right now, 2023, what's happening? Mass layoffs, new skills are coming, AI, people are talking about artificial intelligence, right? It's a cyclical repetition thing, guys, right? It's coming, whether you, the US government has now defined the, the change, the definition of recession, whatever they call it. In my vocabulary, if I lose my job, it's depression. If the if my neighbor loses the job, it's recession, right? So if you lose your job, it's depression, literally. Think about that, right? Again, you better learn some new technologies because thanks to COVID, the same thing is happening again, right? So what is gonna happen in the future? We're gonna be seeing all of these, these terms that are buzzwords now, artificial intelligence, chat GPT, blah, blah, blah. These are gonna be multi-million dollar, billion dollar, maybe trillion dollar industries. How can we be aligned to the future? Okay, that's where I wanna go. I don't wanna be doing just a website for the rest of my life. I wanna have my, my income automated. So you better be ready to learn new technologies. Brandon, who's right here in this live call here, he messaged me today, he's in my course, a paid course, and he messaged me saying, laugh out loud, WordPress is so freaking difficult, but I'm learning and I'm, I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna master SEO. Yes, and I told Brandon, yes, it's not gonna be easy. Nothing's gonna be easy, right? But you wanna be smart. You can literally hire somebody to do WordPress and maybe you learn SEO skills, which are gonna pay you more money because you can partner with somebody like Steve. Brandon is more into sales. You go, Steve, you're in Atlanta, you're in Indiana. Brandon, I'm in Atlanta, let's partner up. You do the web design and the, and the technical stuff. I do the sales. So instead of each of you making $5,000 a month independently by June of next year, why don't you both team up and maybe make $3,000 a month next month each? Does that make sense? So you don't, when this next 12 days, yes, you will learn what I'm teaching, but you also, what I'm saying is you want to be creative. Networking skills, you can network with a lot of people over here. Right? Somebody said they already have four or five years. Who is this? Somebody in Pakistan said, Usman Bhatt says, I'm from Pakistan. I know the basics of SEO. Right? Um, Aldin in Turkey says, I have intermediate in SEO. Okay? Masoom from Bangladesh says, I'm doing SEO four years. So somebody in the US can reach out to Masoom and say, Masoom, if you know SEO, if I bring you clients, can we partner up? Do some networking and be smart about it. Okay? I don't want to go into all this, but here's what I realized. I had dreams and goals. I know you guys have dreams and goals, okay? 
I want to be traveling. I want to make enough money and have enough time. And so I want to build an asset, asset-based income. Okay, what is an asset? Anything that puts money in your pocket. Okay, this dude here, you know the reason he, when he moved from the UK to the US and he's now goofing off and all that, but do you know the difference between him and you and I, him and us? He is not worried about his next paycheck, his next income, his next month's salary. You know why? Not because he's intelligent or he's good looking or he's even smart. He's the dumbest royalty I know. There may be somebody like, I don't know. If, I'm sorry if I offended you guys, but he's not the brightest royalty out there, right? But his family, they are the largest private landowner in the world, 6.6 .6 billion, real estate, cash flow, assets, think, okay? So that's what I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to show you to create assets. There's all these real estate gurus talking about, hey, buy a $100,000 home if you're in the US, put $20,000 down payment, get a bank loan, get a tenant, fix the kitchen sink and the bathroom, put the tenant and cash flow and all that's great. But we're going to be doing that today with websites. Does that make sense? I'm going to be showing you this, leveraging the power of digital real estate. Okay, so now we get in the meat and potatoes. Anybody? Do me a favor. If it makes sense, please come to this post. I'm going to be putting in the chat again, in the Zoom chat, right? Please put a comment. Please put one if it makes sense so far. So I know there is some traction over here. Some of you guys, I'm not talking to like Zoom easier, okay? Let's get some traction going. Let's get people who are sleeping, wake them up. Please put it or put a one over here. Okay. The first guy who puts a one gets a freaking freebie. Let's see who that is. It better not be Debash if he already got a gift. Come on, man. Debash is again. This is crazy, guys. You need to beat this Debash guy. He's the most He's Come the on, most man. attentive guy. Okay. Debash is you already get a 30 minute one on one Zoom. So, Masoom, we're going to give Masoom uh, a free gift. Okay. Let's do Masoom. Masoom, your background, you've been doing SEO for years. How about this, Masoom? Why don't you reach out to me and you tell me what you want as a gift? Message me within reason. Now, don't ask me for a free car or something, but within reason, give me what you want, right? And we'll do that, okay? So that's what I want to do, guys, okay? Let's go and rank and rank. Here's one thing you want to understand, right? Number one thing, if I go, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to be doing live stuff here. If I go and search for, let's just say, plumber, <coughs> let's just say in Chicago, okay, right? This is, what happened? Why am I, this should bring my keyword research. Maybe I've already used up my, Oh, additional credit left zero. Okay, I got to purchase new credits, guys. Let's do this live. By the way, if you don't have keywords everywhere and if you can afford $15 for 100,000 searches, it's absolutely worth it because when you show it, and I'm going to be covering that in the client section, it's going to be crazy, okay? Um, let me just stop. You know what? I'm just going to move the screen here so then I can uh, get all this going. And that way... Uh, I can purchase this and get this going. So, guys, give me a minute, guys. Let me stop share. Let me go here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, computer. Let's see. Um, let's see if this works now. Let me lower my hand. Let's see if it works now, guys. Okay, you see that? This is absolutely worth it, if you ask me. Because when I show, when I do some video audits for clients, I'll cover that on, on the client acquisition day. When I show this to people, they're like mind blown. So what is search engine optimization for those of you who are brand new? Okay, for those of you who are brand new, what is search engine optimization? Did I lose you guys or are you guys there? Okay, you guys are there, okay? These guys here, they are paying for ads, okay? They're paying approximately $13 per click. Really, 
this tool is not the most accurate when it comes to um, CPC. So you can go to Google Keyword Planner and let's look at the plumber's keyword in, uh, in Chicago and see how much are they really paying per click. By the way, this is Google lead ads. They're paying per call. I don't want to go into that in depth, but if you go over here, so I'm going advanced now, guys, but we'll cover this more in detail, right? Uh, I'm going to go to Chicago, not the whole of US, right? And if I search, Google will tell me how much they're paying per click, okay? Google is paying 16 to 47 bucks. Do you see this, 47 bucks? Do you see this? 47 bucks. Okay, they pay usually a stock of page bid 47 bucks, right? If I do a plumber near me, okay, um, it says one buck, but it's really not one buck. Okay, so don't go CPC, put this key, this plugin, it's called the Keywords Everywhere plugin, but it's pretty accurate when it comes well, nothing is very accurate, but it gives you a gauge, okay, up there. So you can show the client. But these guys are paying for ads, right? Every time somebody clicks on it and it puts a call, they have to pay Google. Um, these guys here, you see the sponsor? I'm, I'm searching for near me. These guys are paying per click, right? What search engine optimization is search engine Google, you're optimizing your website and your Google listing to appear in the organic searches here. These guys here who are on the top here in the map listing and organic, first Chicago, first Chicago. Like this dude here, he's number one here and here. You see that? He's getting most Mike's plumbing, okay? All of these guys, he's getting most of the traffic for free. The reason he's on the top of Google is not because he's the best plumber in Chicago but people think he's on top because he's the best plumber and they just call him and he's making a lot of money. But the reason he's on top is he's done a few things. We'll go into that in depth in terms of keyword research, all of that stuff where he is ranking high organic. That's what is search engine optimization. So search engine optimization, okay? Search and I'm not talking about rank and rank is, is just the skill of Optimizing your website to rank it in the search engines of Google, Bing, anything else. But Google is like the big kahuna, okay? Any questions on this? Let me know. Uh, put it in the chat or ask in the, the Facebook post, whatever. I'll cover that, okay? Okay, awesome. Love it, all right? Good stuff, right? So what client seo for those of you who don't know is going after a client going to somebody who's on page two like you go to page two go to the the scottish plumber and say hey mr plumber i can do seo on your website i can do the backlinks the on page the off page and, and rank your website for this keyword and related keywords see google is giving me all the related keywords in the search results on the top of page one so that you get the traffic and you can make some money I will do it on your website. You pay me a flat fee of maybe 2,000 bucks a month, 1,000 bucks a month. We'll cover that later on, how much money and all that. That is client SEO, make sense? Okay. Tahir says, could client and rank SEO, it's not the same. So client SEO is you work on the client's website, okay? Rank and rent is basically you put your own website and you rank it to the top. You put your own Google listing, you rank it to the top. When somebody calls, let's say your website, this is, let's say this is your website. You put up a website. Google doesn't know if you're a real plumbing company or if you're a, if you're a 16 year old high schooler learning to put up a website and learning SEO, right? You want to put up your own website and when somebody finds the website, somebody is searching for plumber, they find your website and they call the number that's on the website this number, you can have a call tracking, call forwarding number and forward it to a real plumbing company and they per lead. Eventually, you can then rent the website for a flat fee. Does that make sense so far? Okay, do me a favor, guys. 
if it makes sense, go to this link here, my biggest content giveaway, or in, in you know, I put this link here, put a make sense or something here so I understand. Okay, put a make sense so I know you guys are good. Okay, put a make sense over here, or you can just go to the the live we are in and put a put a make sense over here. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Okay. But it does make sense so far, right? Good. Makes sense. This one says makes sense. Okay, good stuff, right? So what we want to do is we want to learn that skill because then you can do your own website, rank it, and then rent it out. Or you can go and build build it and, and rank your client website and, and have them bill you, have them pay you. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, what's the difference between real estate and digital real estate? I love digital real estate. You know why? Because if you want to make, let's compare. Why am I comparing real estate? Because the holy grail of passive income, right? Everybody's in real estate. Whether you're in Pakistan, USA, Turkey, Australia, everybody wants to be in real estate. I want to be in real estate, right? But if you want to make $1,000 a month of passive income slash cash flow through, through real estate, at least in the US, you need to buy a hundred thousand property. It's really with inflation now, at least a two hundred thousand population on the two hundred thousand price point. You want to put twenty percent down. That's at least twenty k. Then you want to find a good tenant, right? You want to go through the bank loan and all of that. And then after the the idea is, let's say you pay a mortgage. After the mortgage taxes, property management, all of that. That let's say that takes you eight hundred bucks, right? And then, and, and you can rent it for, let's say, hopefully a bit more, like a thousand bucks, and you keep $200 a month, okay? The cash flow can be 200 bucks a month. Does that make sense? So you know the song and dance you have to do to make 200 bucks in real estate? I'm not saying real estate is bad, it is awesome, but the, the barrier to entry, I do not have $100,000. I may not even have $20,000. Most people don't have $20,000 to put down. They have to go through all these picking loans, right? So what we want to do is this. We want to get into digital real estate to make the same $1,000 a month passive real estate. So in this case, you need to do this at least five times to make 1,000 bucks a month. In our case, we buy a $12 domain. I'm going to show it to you, okay? In one of, one of these days, step-by-step. Okay, I'm going to invest 200 to 500 one time. I'm going to show you exactly what I do. I'm going to rent it to a good tenant. And these tenants, if they are bad, we don't have to worry about if, when, what do I mean by if they are bad? If they don't pay, if they, you know, whatever reason, you can easily go and rent it to somebody else, the competition. But these are business owners with money who wants leads. And so they will absolutely pay you, right? Total investment, $500 max. You can, you can rent it out and make this money. Okay, we're going to go over that. Make sense? Now, I don't want to go into details, but you know, there's so many small businesses, blah, blah, blah. Let me ask you a question. If you think you can help the small business, would they make money? Yes. Here's what I'm going. Can you guys see the screen? Let's see if I can make it bigger. Presenter view. Can you guys see this big now? Okay. Yep. Good. If I'm searching for HVAC contractors, Salt Lake City, right approximately 70 such a month look at the cost per click 26 dollars per click approximately five to six clicks they may get a call so 100 to 120 bucks is what they are spending to get a call these are ads these are lead ads every you have to pay google so these guys beehive heating any hour heating same day heating they are paying google per call these guys are paying per click this guy is also paying per click. In fact, this Harris Arso, once upon a time, was my SEO client. He was so freaking impatient that after two months, he stopped me because he's like, I don't want to keep paying you. I don't see results, right? You have to educate your clients. I'll keep, I'll get into that later on. But he's still running ads. The poor dude is renting real estate from Google. If he stops paying Google, he won't come on the top. He will not make money. Does that make sense? He will not get the leads, right? But these dudes over here, smart fellows, they own real estate. They took some time to build a house, the foundation to build a house or however you want to say it. These guys here and these guys here. 
okay? They are making, get, getting leads for free, okay? So that's what we want to go. So this is, I'm showing you this free removal Ann Arbor. This was the exact way I got into rank and rent, okay? Before I dive into any more, I think, do, does anyone have any questions? Please put it in because I think you guys are pretty advanced. I want to go into day two today, if possible. But my biggest question is any questions on whatever we covered, the difference between rank and rent and, and client and CEO and all that. Anybody has any questions? Let me stop share. Let me ask you. Anyone's got any questions? Everyone's like, no, shall I move on? Or are you guys like, when will this guy shut up so I can leave? Um, Josh pays any success with PPC? Yes, I have some PPC clients. Oh, PPC as in pay-per-click? I don't have pay-per-click clients. I have pay-per-call uh, clients, okay? But anybody have any questions? Is everyone good? Nobody, everyone's good? Rizwan says, as we know, Google shows some SEM results at the top of surf, they have more chance. Search engine marketing results add ads at the top, yeah. Yep. Masoom is asking me, should I run ads for rank and rent? Yeah, we're going to cover all that. Renting is more comfortable. Yes, keep going. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Okay. So, let me cover share screen again. Let me go here. Tahir is asking a good question. Could rank and rent work if I'm in Pakistan? I have a student named Adil in, in, who lives in Pakistan who, who took all his savings and he paid $997 and jumped into my course. And I know I lived in India, so I know how much it is. It's not easy for $1,000. But because he took the investment and commitment, I worked with him personally. The dude is now making $1,000 a month rank and rent sitting in Pakistan. In fact, tomorrow I have a one-on-one -on -one with him because he wants to go from $1,000 a month to $5,000 a month sitting in Pakistan. And I'm, I'm putting a game plan with him. So absolutely, you can be in Pakistan and do that, okay? But here is what it is. Client SEO is great. I will be going into, yeah, he's, he's richer than Imran Khan. I don't know if Imran Khan is too president or he's in jail, but I'm just saying, right? Uh, but here's how I got into rank and rent. I had SEO clients where we'll cover that in detail. But SEO, the whole reason I got into rank and rent was remember when I was in General Motors, I hated my job. I had a boss. I hated the office politics. Then I got four, five, six clients and I was happy. But sometimes clients can also quickly become into a boss in themselves and ask questions, give me an SEO report. Why is my keyword not ranking yet? But, you know, they can become like a boss. If they're paying you money, they ask a hundred questions. So rank and rent is so much more comfortable, like Mahabub was saying, is more passive. We don't have to worry about reports or anything, right? So what I realized is I... I decided I'm going to put up a website and I'm going to see if I can rank in a very small city. So here is the first, first thing you want to write down if you are new to rank and rent. I used to live by this website when I was in, when I, was, when I had a day job. List of cities by population. Now, if you're doing in the US, you want to have that. If you are living in whichever country you want to do your, your, your um, rank and rent, you want to have that list of cities because we don't want to go after Chicago. Why? Because look at Chicago, 2.6 million population. We want to go after low hanging fruits. Okay. So this is one website I always keep open, even now. Okay. But when I was in my day job, whenever my boss was not seeing, when I had some free time, I would be here. And then other website would be a website called Home Advisor. Now it's called Angie. Why? Because these guys, these industries, these businesses in Home Advisor, they are paying for leads and they know the pay per lead model. They are not afraid to pay and test different things out. So I would go randomly and I would pick a low, low city like 100,000 population. So in my case, I just picked up a city near my home. I live near Ann Arbor and I said, okay, what's the population? 120,000. Okay, nice. And then I would just go and I would go and I would 
So you can pick a city from here. I, I picked Ann Arbor, you pick whatever you want. So let's say Steve is in Indiana, pick up Carmel, okay? Which is in official, like in the, in the very low range, right? You don't want to go too less of a population, like 20,000 population city, because there may not be enough population to get enough cars to be able to rent the website. So like 100,000 to 200,000 population is a, is a pretty good one, okay? Um, then I would just go here and say, okay, let me look into this. Um, furniture assembly. Let me do permutation combination. Furniture, and then Google will give me these results. Wow, furniture repair, seven cents a month. I don't even know that. All of these niches, industries that I can go, right? And if I do a search for furniture repair, there's 70 searches a month, okay? There's these people who have very low reviews, so there's not a ton of reviews, compared to like Plumber in Chicago, 4,800 reviews, 800 reviews. This is not a low hanging fruit. This was just an example I showed you. Does that make sense? Can you rank in Plumber in Chicago and can you rent it out? You absolutely can. But by the time you rank a website and generate calls, it'll probably take 12 months or 16 months, right? You may have to get so many reviews. We'll go over that later on, but you get the idea, right? You can rent this out for maybe $5,000, $6,000 a month once you rank it, because it's a huge volume, but it'll take you, what, 12 months or so. I'd rather go something like furniture repair, right? Ann Arbor, easy rent, rank them in two to three months and make $500 to $800 a month and then rinse and repeat that. Does that make sense? So that's what I did. So approximately tree removal and arbor. Let's go for tree removal and arbor. Where is my so furniture repair? Then I went for tree. So tree service and arbor. This is this is not the real number. It's skewed because I keep giving this example. So everyone's like into that. So don't believe that. Tree removal and arbor three twenty. It's not so much. You get the idea, right? Uh, this a lot of people because I gave this as an example in my course. Also a lot of people. I have somebody in my group who took the exact same tree. There's a lot of people who are in the tree, tree niche because I'm in the tree niche. So number one, don't jump into tree because I'm in trees. There are also a couple of people who are in tree service Ann Arbor because I got my first client in Ann Arbor. There's a million other cities and, and niches. So you get the idea. But as an example, you see this here, right? There's a whole story in this. I don't want to get into that. But here are some examples you can go, right? So here's where I'm going. If I do a search for average tree removal cost, so let's say you put up a website, tree removal and arbor, okay? You can keep the MI, you can take up the MI. Like these guys are paying for leads already. These guys are not paying for leads. So if you put up a website that's gonna rank here and rank here, that's what I did. I put up a website as I was learning SEO, right? And in the next few weeks, I mean, next few days, we'll go over all of these, right? I didn't, we are going over this right now, as a matter of fact. Okay? We'll go over this at the end of the day, right? But when you do all these steps, okay? Literally, my website, after two to three months, okay, started, even before it was on page one, it started getting calls. Why? Because write this down also, most SEO folks, they try to rank for the main keyword, tree removal Ann Arbor, tree service Ann Arbor. Oskino Mac is requesting a meeting summary. Whatever the hell that is. What is this AI meeting summary? Okay. Okay. But you get what I'm saying. When I started getting calls, you know what I did? <laughs> I went down here and I went to ANG. You see this? Home Advisor. I showed you Home Advisor, right? There's always, always, always some Home Advisor link ranking on page one. I clicked on that. And these guys are all three companies in Ann Arbor, in the city of Ann Arbor. FE Tree Service, Andrew Tree Service, Grace Tree Service. I call one of these guys. So this is exactly what I did and I still do and I teach this and you guys should do if you're brand new. Once you put up a first website and you get the first call and we go in detail, 
I got the first call. I was I was early morning. I think I was sleeping. I got a call. I picked it up like 7 a.m. something. And somebody was like, uh, I need a tree removed in, and they were like, my address is this, I'm in the corner of this. It took me two seconds, like, oh my God, it's my, my first call lead from my rack and run site. So I took down that information, right? And I then went here and I called two, three, four of these guys and said, hey, can I refer a customer to you? And one of these guys said, absolutely. And he even said, hey, for every referral, I'd be happy to, even if it turns into a job, I'd be happy to pay you a commission. I said, okay, here is the here is the client name. Go take care of him. Does that make sense? That's all I did. And as the call started coming, I started giving it to him. Does that make sense? So this is what is rack and rent. So if you think about it, the average tree removal job can be 400, is, is 1200 bucks, average. Highest is 2000 bucks. Lowest is 400 for tree removal. This is US average, not my numbers. Even on the low end, if I only send seven customers and he only makes $2,800 a month, okay? That is $2,800 a month he's making that month through me. If you think afterwards, I go to him and say, hey, if you want to keep continuing this and you make 3,000 bucks a month, do you think you can make, give me 10% of $300 a month? How many people think, yes, he will give you 300 bucks a month? Absolutely, right? Now, that's just the low. If you go for average, he's making 12K a month. He can easily pay you 1,000. But let's say he only pays you 600 bucks a month. You can still take it in three, four months, rank it here, and then rinse and repeat for other, other ones. Does that make sense? So this is exactly what I started doing. If we can put up our own website, we capture these prime customers. And then we can rent our website for a real to a real tree company for premium dollars. Here's the call volume for one of my clients, 2018 screenshot, a tree client, a tree client. You see, in the winter, because it's Michigan, it was a little bit less, but look at the summer. So I'm going up. 10 calls a day average. He can pick and choose the best customers. He'll be a happy camper for life. That $300 a month. Rank and rent client, he's still paying me $300 a month every single month from 2006, 15 April, I think. Let's see. I, I should have the information here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, do I have it here somewhere? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I thought I had it somewhere. Right? He's paying me every month 300 bucks a month, right? He's paying me. How many months from, I think April, let's just say May 2015 till today. 102 months. He's paying me 300 bucks a month and 102 months. I had made $30,000 $30, total from that, my first rank and rent website. It is still rented at $300 a month. If you go and search for free service Ann Arbor, it is not in the top now, it's, it's it's gone down, it's not over here now, it's gone down, but that's the beauty of it. I haven't touched this website in years, it's not ranking here, it's gone down, it's not ranking on page one, all of that, but he still gets calls because of the keyword research I did, and even if the calls went down, he's making more than what he's paying me, he's happy. Okay, can I go and make the get the site ranking higher? and get more money out of him, I can, but he's my first rank and rent client. I have a special thing with him, I'm happy. Okay. Josh shares tree service, anabramai.com is open. Yeah, go buy that EMB domain, absolutely. Mahmoud's is mind blowing. Exactly guys. So here's what you guys do, right? Be ready, I'm gonna give away the next giveaway. So if you go to my, the first guy who goes to, this link over here, okay, you see this here? In fact, I'll take this and I'll put it here in chat and type, I'm gonna put it here in the chat in Zoom and in the comment section, type in mind blown. The first guy is gonna get a free done for you website. How about that? A free done for you website. That freaking done for you website is a $400 worth. Okay, you have to put it in the 
Facebook here, guys. Okay. So let me refresh it. If it's Debashish, I cannot I cannot honor Debashish, right? Guys, we cannot have Debashish win all the time. Okay, let's just pray, hope and pray it's not Debashish. Let's see who it is. Ed Sayani. All right. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Somebody else. Oh, sorry. Uh, Debashish again. This is crazy. Debashish is trigger happy. His fingers are like trigger happy. He should be a sniper in the army. He's like bam, 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 bam. So Usman. Okay, Debash is, I'm sorry, you get a one-on-one -on -one with me already, so I cannot give it. But Usman, messes me later on. You get a free done-for-you website, and I'm going to show you that also. Those, this is people in my paid group, right? We have a lot of stuff over here. Uh, we got coaching calls every week. We got a lot of stuff. This is what we do, okay? This is exactly what we do in the, in the, in, inside, the, inside the coaching program we have, right? We show you how to go red to green in a couple of months. But the let me show this to you. Uh, this is it. You get this. So the bashish. I'm gonna give this to you in the chat if this opens up. Fill it out. Oh, you know what? Um, it's a three ninety seven price point. I have a Thanksgiving sale two ninety seven, but you get it for free. Uh, not the bashish. Sorry, I'm sorry. Who who is it? Osman, I think. Okay. So hit me up. Okay. So that's the thing. Tahi says my Facebook is not lying in me, it's on Zoom. Ah, okay. Try it the next time, Tahir, but there's so many giveaways. I'm going to be giving away Amazon gift cards, my full course, one paid free vacation to somebody. That's going to be crazy. Okay, but this is what we're going to, this is what today, guys. So tomorrow, same time, 11 o'clock, we will be going over more in depth, okay? More in depth into low hanging fruits for client SEO and rank and rent. But this is the stuff. Okay, if you guys have any questions, I'll keep it on Josh's pay trip to Hawaii. Yeah, maybe, man, who knows, right? Anybody's got any questions, anything, feel free to ask me, uh, but this is what's gonna be, okay? Uh, I wanna show this, I wanna show this, uh, um, somebody was asking, Okay, here, uh, let me show this to you guys, okay? I have a freaking um, mastermind slash growth partner. This is only 50 people out there, okay? Six people are actually part of my team, my VAs and all that. So it's only like 50 people who are paid in that. Um, this guy from Pakistan, he got into my growth partner mastermind last, last month, okay? He literally put all his savings and all that. And then today, I actually showed him a method that he can GMB verify. And he literally said this method works. GMB verification in Pakistan, right? So that's the stuff I'm saying. Now, I'm not gonna be showing all of this in detail, but there's so much, and you don't need to know everything to make thousand to thousand dollars a month. But what I want is what you have. Josh says, I want, I want Jish, okay. Good, guys. Okay, so I'm done today. Tomorrow, 11 a.m., we're going to be going the same thing. Here is the homework, guys. Those who are here today and you can join tomorrow, if you can identify your own low-hanging fruit, the 100,000 to 200,000 population, right, do your searches and see if there's not too many reviews. That's all you look for. Look for reviews less than 50 in the three-pack, Okay. I can, let's say somebody, one of you comes up with a good low hanging fruit that you pick, we we'll pick that and we we'll keep going and build on that to rank your website. Okay. Yep. Alan says, thank you. Awesome. Yep. Thank you guys. I need some hot tea or something now, but tomorrow 11 a.m. We'll see you guys. Okay. Take care guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.